G'day folks, it's Cortez Arino. We are starting the episode right when I am going to bed. No, I'm not a vampire going to bed in a graveyard. It is just very late here and I've been working putting in hidden lighting all throughout this area because I need to test my witch farm, which is hidden inside that witch's house right behind us. You see, there's been some changes in 1.14.4. See, I've got a tutorial for that witch farm that's hidden in the house. And a lot of people in the comments have been saying, what's going on with the rates? It is super slow. And then a few people figured it out. They tested it on 1.14.3 uh, and then 1.14.4. And something is very, very different with witch spawning. And I think it's got to do with them despawning at a certain distance. So what they figured out is the AFK platform. Can I see it? Am I going to go underground? Nope. There we go. There's an AFK platform right up in the sky. And they said by lowering that 50 blocks, that increased the rates a little bit. Now, I don't want to go for 50. That seems a bit extreme. So I've made a second one 25 blocks lower. And I'm going to go to bed and AFK overnight and test this thing out. And because I've lowered that platform, that means mobs are now able to spawn in all this area around here. And I can't half slab it because I've decorated the entire thing. So I've just been putting hidden lighting in underneath bushes. And I've done, I've done a lot of work here, guys. We've done a huge area. And then in the, all these little bits where there's a lot of water... I'm using sea pickles because they emit light. So all that little bits of scrappy land in the swamp, that should now be fully lit up. I'm sure I'll get the odd creeper or something maybe spawning on top of that tree. But uh, yes, guys, the sun is setting right now, so I'm going to get up onto that spawning platform. Not spawning platform, sorry. I always call them that. I mean the AFK platform. And this is how... Oh, I'm not going to have the height, am I? Yeah, this is how I get up onto it. I put a little cobweb above that I can aim for, and that sort of catches me, and I can land. So we're in the one 25 blocks lower. I might actually wait till nightfall. I want to see if I've done a good enough job lighting this place up. Like I said, I'll probably get the odd skeleton or something, but for the most part... Like, that was hours of work. I hope we should be good. Come on. Set, son. Set. Oh, no. I haven't slept in a while. <laughs> We've got phantoms. Um, that That's not very good. But look at this. This is lit up pretty well. I don't actually see any mobs spawning here. We, ouch. We might actually be able to fight these phantoms without another beastie coming along. Let's hope so, anyway. Uh... Oh, I don't trust this. Actually, I'm going to go into my little collection area and we're going to just let these phantoms burn up. All right, had a little nap. It is daytime. We didn't get to have a proper look to see if mobs were spawning up there at night, but I didn't see anyone appear. I guess they'll still be here right now if they did appear. I don't know. I think our, our job of lighting the place up was pretty good, so... Yep, the phantoms are burning up. That uh, that was a little bit scary. All right, now now I won't be. Able, I'm going to bed and I won't be able to sleep now after that shock. Let's get back up here. I'm going to AFK for probably about eight hours, and we will see what we get. Oh no, nah, didn't have enough height. Alrighty, guys, it is the next day, and we're going to see what kind of drops we got. That was pretty much eight hours exactly. And you always got to be careful when you go AFK nowadays in Minecraft. Make sure you eat before you do, because if you're a little bit hungry, the hunger bug can get you, and you can just keep... You can end up starving to death while you're AFKing. You'll just lose all your hunger. All right, so I'm going to check the redstone, because I sort of remember how... I'm, oh, no, I'm checking the wrong chest. That scared me. What have I got? N no? That is... Hopeless. That is absolutely hopeless. I was better off in my other spawning platform. Um, that was a failed test. I'm going to do... I must have caves underneath here that were all lit up the entire time I was AFKing. Alright, I need to do two more tests. I'm going to make a spawning platform 
at uh, at 50 blocks lower, like the guys in the comments suggested. But I'm also going to test my original one, which I ended up getting a whole line of redstone there. Yes, the 25 blocks lower is pathetic. We have more <laughs> testing to do. But uh, that is definitely, definitely the wrong height. But we're not going to do that testing right now. We are going to go find something else to do. So as if I hadn't had enough of putting in hidden lighting all over the place, we are doing that again. And I'm also throwing in a few bushes around my mountain village. And usually underneath bushes, I, uh, I usually put pod sole underneath because under real bushes, you never have green grass. But, you know, I am placing so many bushes here and I don't have that much pod sole. We are not doing that. We're just throwing these in, doing a mixture of uh, jungle leaves and oak leaves at the moment, just for a little bit of variety. But uh, you'll notice we have a little red recording symbol in the top left hand corner of the screen. That's because we are shooting a time lapse as we speak. We're working on our new great big time lapse for the mountain village. And I thought this would be a really good time to show you how to build these custom trees. Now I've done a lot of custom trees in my time lapses, but the really complex ones I've done while building in creative and they are a nightmare to do in survival. But that's the good thing about this. Uh, I haven't got any more to look at. One over there. That's a good thing about this tree. It is very, very easy to build in survival. So let's grab. So we want to grab. I'll show you how to do it. This is a mini tutorial. And this one's really good for building on sloping ground as well. So I might. Uh, yeah, right here we'll do. We are going to place ten, nine or ten oak fences straight up in the air and then when, when we get to the top we're going to use oak leaves for all of this we're just going to put three oak leaves right on the top there and let's jump down if i've got any dirt blocks yes we'll use them as well so what we want to do is on the lower part of the slope so this is the higher part of the slope we want to start on the lower part and let's actually get somewhere where i'll be able to jump up again we want to skip the two first fences and then place a leaf block against the third one and we'll jump onto that. And now we're just going to do a bit of a random sort of pattern coming out about three leaf blocks from the fence like that. And just want to make sure we leave some gaps so it's not just a huge dense thing of leaves. And uh, will that do us maybe a tiny bit more? There we go, nice and random. Now at this level we can't build out here because we're going to run into the slope. So we've done half the side of the tree, now for the other half we're going to come up a block and we're still going to run into the ground a little bit but we can place a few leaves around here. And yeah, can't really build more there so we're going to go up another block and do the same thing over here and we're just trying to make this look somewhat sort of natural making sure we leave these little little gaps every now and then and that and i've run out of leaves silly me so i'm not mixing any jungle leaves in with this one it is just oak so this is where i'll use my dirt we'll just put a leaf block out here and we'll break that Yep, so that's that side again, and we're just going to come up another block again so we can keep staircasing our way up as we go. And I'm going to try, see, I haven't got any leaves in this little spot here, so we'll put one there. And as we get a little bit higher, I'm just going to up another block here. Ah, so I'm leaving a one block gap in between the two layers of leaves. But we'll probably want to put a few leaf blocks down there every now and then just so it looks a little bit more natural. And we're just getting narrower as we get to the top. Okay, I'm actually building on camera. I never build on camera, guys. We'll put an extra leaf block there. And I think... No, I shouldn't have gone up another one. Let's keep going out like this. Getting a little bit narrower. Up another. And we're getting very close to the top now. So I'm just going to try and blend it in as we get much, much narrower now. And something like this, we'll use another dirt block here and we'll come out on an angle. 
and we just want to cover up a bit of this fence. We don't have to cover up all of it, but we want to make this look somewhat cool. Break that bit of dirt. I think we are nearly there, guys. No, I am making a mess. All right, let's just throw down a couple of leaf blocks really quickly, and then we will jump down and see if I have created a monstrosity. And I didn't bring, yes, I did bring some scaffolding. We will need that to get up again and fix any mistakes. Okay, from this side, it actually looks really good. Let's quickly run around here. No, we've got huge, huge gaps in there. So, ow, go away, berry bushes. You look beautiful, but you are painful. Okay, so maybe you won't need the scaffolding for this bit. So we don't want to cover this up completely, but we don't want huge, huge gaps either, because that looks a little bit silly. And let's see if those two little leaf blocks made a huge difference. Yes, it did. That is looking much better again. We will check it from this side. I think we're good, guys. I think that looks pretty, pretty awesome. And I also think we need a berry bush or two over this side. Oh, there I've got them. And I'm also going to bone meal them straight away, just because we are doing it in the time lapse. And uh, it looks a bit weird if we're just letting them grow while we're doing other things. So let's throw that in. Okay, guys, that is how to build a tree. So I'm going to keep going around doing bushes, and we will also plant the occasional flower because I think they look pretty. And hopefully this won't take me more than half an hour, but uh, I'm just going to keep running around this bank, placing bushes, doing funny stuff, trying to make it look pretty. And then we can finish this time lapse and get on to other things. And there is Cortezarino building away, putting in his hidden lighting. And that's the cool thing about the replay mod, guys. I've, now that I've recorded this, I can just fly around the world as if I'm a second person, a second account, watching everything that's been done. And it doesn't look too interesting right now, but uh, if I turn on my shaders... And then turn my field of view all the way down to 40. Now, when we watch Cortez, let's play that again. This looks much, much nicer now. So this is much better for a time lapse. Everything looks a lot prettier. And uh, also, that is a little bit slow. So it was a 30-minute video in the end. But what I can do is shoot right to the end. I'll just put these in quickly, and then I'll show you what it looks like. So I'm condensing this 31 minute video down to about 30 seconds, putting in a few timestamps and a few position markers. This takes forever to put together, by the way. I'm just doing this really quickly to show you. And look at that. We are going a minute every single second. So there's the tree I just built. And I'll play around getting the camera to do a really cool path so we can see everything that's going on. And hopefully this shot isn't too boring. It looks boring now just because I'm, I'm gliding slowly. But we may end up doing something super cool. Getting in nice and close here and watching me place all these bushes. I placed a lot of bushes. But uh, I am not going to be editing this right now because I've got something else I want to get on with. I am a little bit worried about getting creepered right now. I, I was running around in the shaders and I realised, oh, I haven't slept yet. So something may have spawned. I'm not quite sure. But I want to build something else, guys. I want to build the next house for our new time lapse that we're working on. And I think I want to do it right here on the waterfront. That would look pretty cool. So in the, in the area like this where we're going to have lots of people walking by, it makes sense that we would have a shop right here because there's a lot of foot traffic going past. And I need to make it pretty low so I don't ruin the view from this place. And I also need to get myself a little path coming up from there out into this area so we can start working out here as well. But... Uh, I have designed something in, uh, in creative that I think will go very nicely right here. So that's the windmill that I designed for my graveyard, where we started the episode. 
And I ended up not building it, so it's like an old broken down thing. I don't know where I'm going to build that now, if I'm still going to use it. Maybe I could use it in a, in a village, just throw it in there to decorate the place a little bit. I might end up doing that. I probably have to lose the cobwebs though and make it look like it is still operational. But uh, over here is where I've been designing all the houses for my mountain village and I've used most of these, not all of them. I've had to start marking the ones that I... Here we go, I've got two completed houses over here ready to go to be put into our world and I've marked them with some little chests above because we've got so many houses going on now. And here's another one that's going to be going in that huge area. It is not finished yet. I've still got plenty more details to throw in, but this one is rivaling the uh, the size of the tavern. I think I want to turn this one into maybe a restaurant or something. See, that side looks horrible. <laughs> There's a lot more to do on this yet, but the front is starting to look pretty good. But anyway, we're getting distracted. Oh yes, I've got a piano that I stole from one of Grian's videos. We're going to throw that in the restaurant. That'll look good. This is our shop. So we're going to have it coming right down to the to the waterfront path. This is a leather worker. So we can go in there, buy some stuff off him. And then on the top floor, which is from this side, will look like a single story building. This is going to be his little house. I think I'll run the path. Past the front of it. So it looks very different from a lot of the other houses I've done, like this sort of classic design. But I want that. I don't want every house to look like this. That that would start looking a bit weird. So we've got to throw in some that are quite a bit different. And that one's very different again. But yes, we are definitely building up a nice collection of Austrian houses. And we'll probably end up doing tutorials for lots of these as well. But anyway... I'm going to go throw this one into my world. Well, not throw it in. I've got a lot of work to do. <laughs> I've got to gather all the resources. Although I haven't built a house since I made my tree farm. So we are pretty good for wood. I won't need to get any more of that. And bone as well. Yeah, I think I just need to probably just assemble all the things I need for the interior. That is probably it. And everything else I will have ready to go. Alrighty guys, we have just finished test number two with the plat the AFK platform 50 blocks lower and I really don't think this is going to do anything at all. Huh, I'm surprised that was actually a little bit better than last time. Or maybe it was just better with the redstone and only just... No, it was probably about the same. And... 
I don't think I need to do a test number three because last week I AFK'd here with my platform right up the top and I got a full line of redstone right across the top plus a little bit more. So it was over nine stacks. So lowering the platform does nothing. What I'm thinking is maybe the guys in the comments that suggested that probably had their original platform too high because you need to go right up to the very edge of despawn range which is 128 blocks so I say go up 120 just to be safe and I'm thinking they they are standing on top of the witch farm and counting up 120 which is no good because we kill the witches down really low down here so that's where you need to measure your distance from so they are probably up probably I don't know five or ten blocks too high and all their witches were despawning and they were getting no drops and there's no need for me to do another overnight test because I've already done one and this was from before 1.14.4 so it was probably 0.2 or 0.3 and this is the first time I ever used this farm. I finished building this last night, went to AFK, look at all the redstone, gunpowder. So that is pretty definitive. So what have we learned from this testing of the witch farm? Well, lowering the platform makes things much much worse we are still better off afking right up where i originally said we should but uh, yes 1.14.4 has cut witch farm rates by at least two thirds i don't know what's going on this is the time to get in Eximavoid and ilmango's comment sections and ask them what is going on because I haven't got a clue. What I'm thinking is they're trying to optimize the game by getting mobs to despawn quicker so there is less lag. That's my guess, but I, I really don't know. But yes, I'm sure it's not just my witch farm. It will probably be every witch farm design. I don't know. Let me know if, if you guys figure out the answer, but for the time being, we are going to leave it here. Cheers, guys. I'm Cortez Rina. I will see you later.